What do you know? <laughs> what do you know it came back? Look at that. This is all I need. Hey, don't hit me. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Greetings. Ali Shano here. How are you people? I hope you are staying safe, healthy and happy. In this video, yes, as I have mentioned before, I'm going to review the Lofe RC's all-new Sparrow 2 fixed wing flight controller. Now, when it comes to flying fixed wing FPV aircraft, especially long range ones, it is always good to have a complete flight data with a Pixel OS day. However, there are a lot of people out there still, including me, who just want a flight controller for their mini FPV wing or uh, mini FPV aircraft or who are just starting with FPV and they are not ready to get into uh, the complexities of OSDs and setting up all these those kind of flight controllers they just want a flight controller that can give them manual mode stabilized mode to help them fly the FPV aircraft they have and a reliable GPS based auto return to home nothing more than that and obviously it has to be cheaper if you are one of those people looking for something that can give you stabilization manual flight mode and return to home with GPS and it's cheap well spare it to is for you so in this video I'm going to give you a very closer look at the spare 2 after I give you after a quick unboxing right here and then I will set it up most probably on my that crazy fast he wing f01 fpv wing because it's very very fast and it can quickly go out of my eyesight and to have a flight control like this when the plane goes out of sight I can simply switch it to RTH and it will come back is going to be a big help right here I haven't put FPV on heaving I didn't have chance to fly it again but this time as you can see there's a GPS here and inside I have put love a Sinan RC's uh, Sparrow 2 flight controller which is a tiny little flight controller that offers stabilization manual flight mode and auto return to home features and that's all I need for a fast wing like this so here you can see my little Sparrow 2 right there inside and it is also capable of taking the DJI FPV unit, HD Digital FPV unit. Just this little uh, unit, very easy to install, very easy to configure. Everything you can configure using your RC sticks right here, okay? So, why it's not unlocking? It should be unlocking the... Yeah, there you go. It's unlocked now. Let me see. Everything is working all the directions are right so this was a very easy setup I would say very easy to install and easy to configure uh, configuration went very smooth setting up the flight modes is by channel 5 and obviously there are only three flight modes uh, you know like uh, stabilized heading hold and uh, manual and auto return to home which I have set using channel 5 now I have also set the dual rates just in case I want to fly manual and you know go some speedy speedy thingy <laughs> but apart from that let's see how the Sinan Sparrow 2 will behave how it will perform and how things will go let me just double check my CG looks balanced so here we go let's throw it in the air and fly it slightly windy today I don't know where the wind is coming from but I'm just gonna throw it okay I see it fluttering so I will reduce the speed because this one probably not designed for this much speed yeah so I'm flying manual damn this thing is fast man I'm scared of this wing I can tell you
Yui, 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 yui. So, I don't know. I mean, when I switch to stabilize mode, it's fluttering a lot. So I will have to decrease the sensitivity. Hold on. So, where do I land it from? I have to land it from that side. And I don't want to land it in uh, stabilize mode because stabilize mode will make the turns really too high. So one moment, let me just land and reduce the sensitivity. Okay, zero throttle. Coming in nice and slow. Nice landing. Da, 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 da. Uh oh, not this one. I should have one little sticky stick. Change color. Come on out here. So. I'm gonna dial down the gain so that's too positive too much positive I will just put it down to let's see this completely off and it was here okay so I'm just gonna put it completely off and let's say slightly down what I want to test is only the return to home and see if it will bring my baby back safely or not so let's do it again okay let's do second test Bismillahirrahmanirrahim here we go yeah much better now it's not fluttering the turn radius is really long However, this is good. I mean, I switched to normal mode. Sorry, manual mode. And let's say, still line of sight right here. RTH. Oh, look at that. What do you know? <laughs> what do you know it came back? Look at that. This is all I need. It came back and it will circle around here. This is all I need. So, let's do another test. Hold on, slow down, don't go too far. I don't know if you can see it in the camera or not. Sorry for that, I'm going too far. But I just need to test if it is bringing it back or not. So, there we are. You must have lost it from the, your view, but RTH, it's turning around. I can see it's turning and it's coming back that's all we need people nice and reliable it came back that's all you need your sweet bird with your FPV gear comes back you know and you are able to fly it one more time again Oh, yes, baby. Thank you very much, Sinan, for making this flight controller. Little, the little compact thing that we needed for these kind of little wings. So that if I'm really fast and I lost my orientation, hey, where is my wing? Auto return to home. And look at it turn big radius but at least it's coming back man that's all i need <laughs> okay here it is for one moment i actually lost it from my eyesight because it's too small but once it's back up here where i can see it i can take control again now next step is to install FPV system on it and have some high-speed FPV fun Hey, don't hit me
Okay, no problem. <laughs> Worst ever landing ever. <laughs> I'm not gonna cut it, man. That was nice. And it's also a good test of durability of this plane. Nothing is broken, everything is fine. So I'll not close the hatch, I'll just keep it this way. My setup is nice and good, everything works. That's all I needed to know. So here it is, the Sparrow 2 from Lofe RC. I believe it will open from this side. You have this little card here, and at the back of the card, it gives you a very quick user manual, very quick guide to use uh, your Sparrow 2, the connection to PWM, SBUS, and PPM. Yes, it supports SBUS, PWM, and PPM now. And not only that, this Sparrow 2 now also support a DJI digital video transmitter and camera connection. How cool is that? So a very quick guide here which you can read right away and see how easy it is to set for T-tail which is a standard aircraft tail, a standard tail aircraft with rudder and elevator. Now we have a V-tail and FPV wing setup and it can see uh, show you how easy it is to switch to F, uh, different aircraft type using channel 5 okay so we'll get into this very very soon right here we have the Sparrow 2 so let's dig in and see what we have we have this cable which is pre-built okay and then a little GPS unit tiny little flight controller Sparrow 2 look at that right okay so very easy to see and Sparrow 2 will communicate with RC pilots using these LED lights right here so we have a T V triangle and G you should read the user manual to see what these LEDs colors and lighting up will do then we have a gain right here gain dial so you can set the uh, sensitivity of the gyro we have DJI FPV unit digital FPV unit connection very easy connection to DJI FPV unit then we have input at this side and we have aileron elevator throttle rudder very clearly mentioned with polarity nothing more to see right here okay at the back side I see one hole I have no idea what that for so this is a Sparrow 2 yes. They have also given you a double-sided circular type to install your flight controller. There is this little connector which I believe for you to uh, install or connect your DJI FPV unit because it's made for this connector top here. Don't forget, they also give you this little screwdriver so you can set the gains easily. Very easy to set up as well. Uh, this one will plug right here let me just see the polarity okay it will fit only one way no other ways and then we have these certain cables coming out this one is obviously for the GPS okay and then this will go to your receiver for you to configure the flight modes or use it to switch to flight modes and then we have this one also going to your receiver okay which will control or uh, send the signals for aileron elevator throttle and rudder for example i have this l9r and if you see there are only three pins so how would you do it no nope, you just have to do it like this because it takes only one pin for each channel so it will install or connect horizontally okay and then you have aileron elevator throttle and rudder which you will configure on your radio and this one right here is going to go on channel 5 okay according to the polarity of your uh one moment it should be this way for this receiver polarity that in particular that i have and this one is on channel 5 so it will switch flight modes uh, through a three position switch on your radio controller I would like to tell you that this uh, little Sparrow 2 flight controller also supports auto takeoff you can either 
uh, increase the throttle and throw your plane in the air and it will climb to 20 meters altitude all by itself or if you are lazy like I am you can switch to return to home mode before taking off and increase the throttle move your plane and it will start the motor throw it in the air it will circle and climb to 30 meters of altitude how cool is that stay tuned for more videos coming your way soon give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell icon turn on all the notifications next i will also post a video on how to properly set up the sparrow 2 for your fpv wing stay tuned for that might take some time i have just way too many things to do and only a little holidays so stay tuned for all the upcoming uploads come on you know what to do hit that like button it's right there i know you can do it oh while you're at it also hit the subscribe button right there come on don't be shy just hit it thank you very much for all your support towards my work that i post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you hit that like button